In this video, I'm going to show how the Tektite nav light can be uh, disassembled and reassembled because the, uh, the pouch is a little bit difficult to understand. So here I'm going to start by undoing the Velcro on the top of the pouch and exposing the two Mark III lights. There's one light here and one light here. Each light has a two LED module and it's not necessary to detach the lights from the pouch to get the batteries and the LED modules out. These can be just simply turned, uh, unscrewed to get to the module and the batteries and similarly this light can be unscrewed to get to the module and the batteries. Um, the When this is first uh, purchased, sometimes these are difficult to turn and that can be eased in two ways. One is initially uh, if they've been in storage for a while, maybe two months or more, um, the air pressure inside here can build up and that can make it hard to turn. So take off the lens when you first buy a nav light and then put it back on. And it should get easier with each reassembly. Uh, secondly, over time, the threads can dry out. They can be re-lubricated with some silicon lubricant. And uh, it's a good idea to check the threads for dirt, sand, and other things that can compromise the, uh, the integrity of the seal. This seal is, there's a two O-rings here, and this seal is really important to give the nav light true waterproof capability to um, one, to uh, 100 meters below sea, to 100 feet below sea level, 33 meters below sea level. It's really a water, a great waterproof package. So okay, you have two lights, and there's a separator in the middle. The separator has this kind of odd Velcro that comes from the top of the pouch that keeps the top of the pouch pinched at the nose. So if you detach this Velcro, you'll expose this piece of what seems like a fiberglass material. Um, this material serves a purpose of keeping the nose of the nav light in a pinched form and gives, or gives some separation to the two lights. The lights can be detached from the pouch by undoing the Velcro straps. Um, it's pretty easy to figure out how it goes back through the loops on the... Um, on the lights themselves and then generally the velcro is attached to itself over the back of the nav light. It's also possible to attach the velcro to itself across the front of the lights but generally it's just easier to attach the velcro across the back of the nav light. So reassembling the nav light is a matter of taking the, this um, velcro strip in the, in, the, in, the, in the top of the pouch and reattaching it over over the divider. In doing so, the nose itself is being pinched into a point. And I'm not trying to be reattaching the Velcro across, evenly across the top and bottom of that divider. Only on the top of the divider does the Velcro have to stick to each other. So there's about a quarter of an inch area at the top of that Velcro where it is um, in parallel with that divider. It's not attached at the bottom of the divider, only at the top. So that's what's, that's what's there. Um, and that will allow the nose of the nav light to form this pinch. You can also squeeze it here if you're having a hard time getting the nose to form into a pinch. Uh, but generally it should fall right back into this kind of position. So again, you take this strip, you can separate it and then reattach it in parallel to the divider, but only plan on securing the Velcro to itself at the top of the divider in about a quarter of an inch area at the top of the divider. And then this top can be folded down and the Velcro attached to the top and you're set to go. You have access to turn on the lights I'm just going to move that back in there. Check this side, it looks good. You have access to the two lights to turn on and off without having to um, without having to reattach 
or, or, or detach the Velcro. You can do that without that. And then there are grommets on the sides and the back for securing the nav light to, to the uh, bow of the kayak in any location. That's it. My name is Steve Hollinger for Kayalu Gear. Thanks for listening.